look about uh, uh, the financial industry, the most common fraud is account takeover. Uh, that's been known as a six billion dollars uh, type of problem, in a way. And uh, this starts a little bit uh, before when you have the phishing attacks that you know steal credential, etc. But at the end of the day, most of the fraud use cases that you see in the world are the ones that people are impersonating the other people and in the consumer space and trying to steal what we say steal money or steal any credentials. So when we talk about fraud detection, again, it's uh, the best way to look at it, we've been doing it for 15 years, is through machine learning. We have our uh, algorithms that can identify fraudulent transactions or login attempts. Uh, we rely on a Bayes algorithm that provides very, very good results to our customer, either in the card not present fraud or the online banking or payment fraud. Uh, this machine learning algorithm can help identify 95% of the fraudulent transactions. Uh, with a very, very limited amount of uh, challenge, challenges to the customer or 5% uh, challenge or friction to the customer. So we pride ourselves that we help our customer create a very frictionless experience to their consumers uh, with our machine learning algorithm and the more data points that we have and our work that we do. That machine learning algorithm, as I was uh, talking about, uh, uses hundreds, if not more than hundreds of data points to identify actually abnormal behavior of the user. So if you usually buy from one place and now we see you buying or performing a, a transaction from another place that you're doing, so we are looking at that abnormal behavior and we will elevate the risk of that transaction. We also integrate with a lot of other third party vendors that provide us additional data points. Uh, the one good uh, benefit that we provide also to our customers our global data network our global data work network uh, contains an, a, a database and a very simplistic way to look at it a database of fraudulent entities uh, that can help us identify actual fraudulent transactions that have occurred in other uh, customers that we have and we call it sort of the sharing is caring algorithm uh, that helps us help our customer uh, learn and identify fraudulent transactions in an easier way. Outsu does provide a sort of a, a, our fraud action services does provide the ability for our customers to identify brand impersonation and actually stop these attacks at runtime. We pride ourselves with a very, very quick uh, uh, response to uh, stopping phishing attacks and malware detection capabilities with our fraud action services worldwide. So I think the best way to look at it is uh, financial institutions to look at everything from a global view and not a siloed approach. The one thing that uh, we see in the market is that a lot of financial institutions and everybody have point solutions to each of the use cases that they see in each of the channels. And uh, I think the best way to look at it is to provide our customers and the financial institutions should do is actually have a holistic view, uh, what we call a 360 view of uh, the transactions that go through from all the cha channels to help them identify the fraud and have a, a let's call it a, a orchestration layer that helps you identify this type of fraud and see uh, somebody trying to access from one channel and identifying that access on another channel that's happening. Uh, Outier has, been la has launched the uh, new emerging, pay emerging payment platform. Uh, the emerging payment platform is a first step in us going into the payment industry and supporting uh, ad additional use cases. The first one is the buy now, pay later. Uh, approach that we uh, take to our customers and it actually provides uh, and again going back to the other question a 360 view of all the customer journey that they go through when doing a buy now pay later so if you enroll for the buy now pay later installment use cases uh, we can protect you in that space and then when you do the actual payment in the card not present uh, uh, world through 3D Secure or any other card not present uh, ecosystem. And then when you do the manage of the installment of that, uh, uh, let's call it the payment itself, these three specific customer journey in the buy now pay later are the ones that out here can start helping our customers uh, solve and uh, protect. And we will be launching additional uh, emerging payment platforms in the coming future.